Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm down at Fiskerton. We're in a match right now with the Trident AC Club. I didn't get a chance to do any filming this morning, it was a long journey for me. Um, I've just been trying to suss the peg out, uh, we're about an hour into the match. It took me about 40 minutes to figure out what I was going to do, I set up a couple of feeder rods. I had a short rod but I was getting stuck on rocks on the inside. Uh, I set up a stick float rod about 6-7 foot deep. Um, started getting smash maggots but couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Anyway, I decided to get the bolo out, stuck a plummet on it and it's about 9 or 10 foot deep out there. Got a 2.5 gram bolo on now and uh, started getting a few roach and perch on the inside. So just loose feeding maggot, hemp and tares over the top. I mean, just intend to fish this line out as much as I can today really. Um, it's a very windy day but this rig seems to be working quite well. So I'm not going to hang about because uh, I need to keep fishing. Probably got about a pound or so in the net right now. Not fishing far out at all. Surprised me how deep it was right out there. Glad I didn't wade out much further. I might have dropped off. <laughs> got the 17 foot float rod on. As I say, um, not fishing far out but I'm having to feed by catapult because uh, it's so windy it's blowing back at us. I'm feeding the hemp slightly downstream only by about three or four yards but uh, we'll see if we can get a couple of fish out and then I'll show you the rig at some point. So yeah, I've got a couple of feeders set up as well. I have seen some fish top out on the far bank. There's some trees over there. Um, could be chub. I suspect they probably are, and they might be worth a look for later, but there's a heck of a flow on over there, and uh, I haven't really got heavy enough gear for me uh, normal feeder work today. I've got some 60 grammers, and that's about it. And that's a fish on. I'm just trying to find my rhythm again. I just lost my hook length. It's only a baby. A little bleak this time. Let's see. Oh no, it's a roach. Tiny little roach. So small, I thought it was a bleak. So yeah, I'm just trying to find my rhythm again. Uh, just lost the hook length there. I've got a big snag out in front of me. Just rod and a half out. Bearing in mind this is a long rod so it's probably about uh, 25 feet out. If I hold the float back it really does seem to just produce that bite. It's just rising up. We've got an olivet on as a bulk. I'll quickly show you that. If I need to uh, pop a few more droppers down between that and the hook than I can do. Uh, I've got one dropper there and then six inch to a micro swivel. Micro swivel just there and uh, then we're about eight inches down to the hook. So that seems to be working quite nicely at the moment. The river's got a little bit extra in it. Probably about a foot. Uh, so it's pulling quite hard. I've never fished this stretch before, so yeah, I just didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how deep it was, whether it was going to be shallow. But I was told in the tackle shop back in York that it just varies so much throughout its length. So I just did not know what to set up today, really. Um, didn't have a lot of time yesterday. Had to go to... A family event, so I just sort of settled on trying to figure it out when I got here. Not a great deal of prep. With it being the Trent, I figured we'd probably be catching quite a few days, although I've not had a dish yet. Difficult trying to get a rhythm because of this wind, trying to feed and Throw the bolo out as well, so generally speaking, I think I'm just. Oh, fish on. I think we're wrapped up around the tip as well. That's not good. 
<coughs> that is a disc. A tiny disc. Yeah, as I say, just trying to find the rhythm. It's a bit difficult at the moment. Should try to trying to feed and then cast in, but the wind's just making life a little bit awkward. So still not found my rhythm there. Floats peeling off downstream. I've not fed in. I have now. And we've got a fish on. So they're coming on the feed nicely. This feels like a perch. It's dogging around a bit. Yep. So I had options to fish for the barbel and the chub. You can end up confusing yourself on, a, on this river. But I think today I'm just going to keep it simple. Just continue to target the silvers. And hopefully we can put a good bag together. So a lot of people scout on the feeder. Whether that's uh, still the case, I don't know. And if you can catch days fast on the feeder on the inside, that's usually a good method on the trend. But uh, just on the little block end, as I say, I was getting snagged up on something down there. So I decided uh, once I'd cracked off on it, not to bother with it any further and try the float. This wind really is making life awkward. I'm hoping if I can get enough feeding and enough fish shoaled up in front of us that we can keep them here all day. Something's absolutely destroyed that maggot. So, seems like pretty much every cast at the moment we're getting a bite, even if we ain't getting a fish every cast. right line now, fed in. And I'm just trapping the line on the spool, just raising the bait every sort of half a foot or so down the river. Sometimes if you hold it back really hard, that's risen up and I'm just going to let that go through now, just to ease it off. Doesn't look like we're going to get a bite on this run through unless we hit one down at the bottom end. Oh, I thought that was going to go then. I bet that bait's marked though. Yeah. So something had just nips at the end of that. Hemping. Try and tempt a few fish onto uh, tears, that'll be ideal. We've got another roach there, just where we were feeding in. So there's plenty of fish willing to have a go. That seems to be the perfect line, just 25 feet out, something like that, if that. Obviously I'm set out in the water, so... So difficult to control the float in this wind, it blows straight back at you. <clears throat> and then just takes off. <laughs> End up stuck in everything or wrapped around your rod tip. So yeah. 
hate fishing in windy conditions like this. But I'm quite grateful for the wind because uh, I think it'd be a scorching day otherwise. Let's try and keep some bait going in. Just keeping an eye on that float as well. I think that's gone. Yeah, bait's marked again. Yeah, fish straight away. Pretty much at the head of the run there, so they're probably coming up looking for it. It looks like a fairly nice roach. Slightly better stamp, we've had a few like that so far. Nice little fish. So I'm hoping this bolo line will just get better and better. So I don't really want to have to go looking on other methods now. Just want to focus on this. Keep it going. Ooh. Wind grabbed those and they were gone. Just get behind the float. I think that's into that snag that we hit before. So there is a snag down there. It's coming out of it. At times, it can lock up pretty tight. Whether it's an old bit of tree or what, I'm not sure. Just try and trip over it most of the time. We hit a fish around there straight away on the cast before. It looked like a dip on the float then. Just easing it through. I'm just going to hold it back hard here. I've got a few holding back hard. Nothing that time, so I'll let it carry on its way. That's gone. That was a proper bite then. Missed it though. Certainly looked like a roach bait, the speed of it. So I have got one barbel rod with me, but I don't really fancy fishing it. Just in a match, you just need to be putting some weight in the net, and it's it's a bit of a gamble sitting out and waiting for a barbel. I mean, if this line does go completely dead, then it might be worth having a nosy on it. Just putting a pellet out and a bit of halibut and hemp ground bit. But otherwise, I don't think I'll be getting it out of the bag. So there's plenty of fish here. We just need to keep them interested. Try and get them feeding really confidently. the bite I'll just let it run down if it's not too close in such that we end up snagging up never know you might just pick a fish up on the inside that's probably two missed bites there we'll have to bring it back yeah it's okay wind is predominantly upstream but also into my face so uh, it's not making life as hard as it could be. Yeah, I'll just have a trot through without anything, just put a new length on again. Drop down to a size 20, Mustad Canal Sea Duck. Just a little bit finer wire. Um, Had an 18 on last time out, which was a Camazan. That was a bite. Didn't get a fish though. Get a few more confident bites. I'd up, 
up the hook size, but uh, still struggling to connect with everything at the moment. Right, let's try and feed in and then cast out. So, maggots first, hemp and tears second, just a bit further down. Get out into the swim. And that's the rhythm I'm looking for. Fish on. Feels a bit better. Just that little bit further out. It's another perch. Oh. On. Just held the float up slightly. I'm going to roach. So these aren't big fish right now. At least we'll catch it. Caster may have been a better choice of bait today, I don't know. Just usually find if enough maggots in you can uh, catch well with the dace but maybe they're not that abundant here yes fish just heading that little bit further out into the river seems to bring a better stamp it's another perch Well, I'll take them. Oh my goodness. Went quick did that. I think it even reached the bottom. A fish on. Right, I think my hook's blunted. So, time for a fresh hook. Another one. Missing a few bites here. Oh, can't seem to connect with one right now. And they're getting the maggot off the hook. Oh, something really jarred at that then. Aggressive bite. Still a lot of fish there, it's just trying to present it right. What is going on with the weather? Oh, this ain't good. Fish. Tiny perch. Camera's gonna have to go off. We're getting wet. Right guys, believe it or not, we've just had a proper cloud burst. Everything went really black and dark and uh, it's literally soaked everything. Um, but I've got straight back out of my coat because the sun's come back out and I had three fish during that rainstorm and probably the best roach I've had all day, which uh, I thought that, ah, I thought that they uh, just snapped me hook off. Yeah, I had three fish during that rainstorm and uh, 
probably the best roach I've had all day. Now, I don't know whether that was because of the rain, but I thought that just as it just as it eased off, um, the float seemed to be tracking back in towards me, and I thought that the wind was blowing back at us. Um, but actually, I think the fish had picked it up and just moved inside a bit. So, once I get another hook length on, we'll get back out there. Looks very calm now. It's like the wind's just completely gone. I hope it's going to settle a bit. Yeah, that was a bite quickly there. Making life a lot easier on the presentation now. Another little roach. Not as big as the last one I got, but about the similar size to the first two that I had during the rainstorm. So that is uh, positive. Let's see if we can get some weight in the net now. Keep these fish coming. And a fair amount of empin as well, just trying to keep them down there. Might try tear on the hook shortly. Did have a couple of trots through with the early doors. But I may have had a bite, it was difficult to tell. So I'll mend that line, hold that float up. Yeah, that's gone. Well down the peg there. Another roach. There's a lot of roach out there. Another one. Probably about an ounce. No real idea what I've got in the net, maybe a couple of pounds. Haven't really been counting or concentrating on it. I just know if I'm catching fish or not. <laughs> Hold that back and ease into it, and that feels a better fish. Yeah, slightly better stamp that one. Maybe a couple of bounces. Just mend that line. Get on it just as it moves down there. There was some fairly decent fish to be had down there. That's another one. Just when you roll back, you get that bite. This is what it was like to start with. I'm hoping we can keep this coming now. Keep catching at this frequency all the way to the end. Dealing with the shell. I've also got Pete and Rob above me. Both good running water anglers, so uh, they may have been catching regularly like this from the off. There's another fish. Well, the bolo's certainly deadly in the right conditions. That's a, 
bit of fish, we'll net that one. We'll keep these fish entertained. Keep that bait going in. Keep them sitting over that empty seed. Just get it down to the left hand side of me a little bit. I'll start to hold back on it. Just mend the line, get behind the float. Now I'm going to hold back. Just ease that through with the rod tip now. Looking for that bite. There it is. There it is. Dipped under. This is great fishing. Well, that's slightly better stamped fish as well. I may stop netting them if I keep catching them. Just to speed up. They're not huge, but this moment in time, I don't want to be losing them off. Taking it well now. Keep that rhythm going. Big pouchfuls of bait, or half pouchfuls. And get them hooked on this hemp seed. See if a tear will bring some better quality. That's it, we're in. Straight in for the kill. Laying on to it. Oh, that was a dip. Didn't quite take it right. That's gone. There we go. Oh, a nice quality fish by the feel of it. Decent. So we're getting the odd better one now. It's probably a good four ounces. Nice roach. Maybe that rainstorm has done it a bit of good. Just believe that we ain't got that horrible winter content with no more. Let's get that on track. Should have fed him before I went out there, but let's just feed the maggot this time. Let's just hold it back. We're right behind that float now. Moving the rod tip downstream, just inching it. Something's trying to have a double, I think. It might have marked the bait up. I'll just let it go through a second. Yeah, fish on. Just pulled the float down, didn't quite take the tip all the way under. Yeah, it's another nice one. I'm going to swing him. Somebody might pull a barbell out and this all might be a waste of time, but I'm going to enjoy myself doing it. Can't beat a nice net of silvers. That is another nice fish. 
Ooh, I think I'll just net him. He looked like he was hanging off the end of the lip. <laughs> yeah, he's off in the net. Another two, three ounces, that fish. That is another one. They're queuing up now. I'm going to feed in this time. Just going to see if we can pull another quick fish out. I think it's annihilated. State of them. Absolutely more in them now. The downside of fishing the bronzes. My fingers are going to be dyed for a week. <laughs> That's a nice bit of wind getting up, so that's uh, probably going to make the presentation a little bit more difficult. Seems to be downstream now as well. Waggler would probably work better if uh, this gets up. Can't hold them back though. Not that well anyway. Not as well as I can hold this back. Oh, decent fish on end of the run. I'll net him. Mm, stump's getting like two, three ounces average now, so. Odd better fish amongst them. Mm, fish just tops out on the line. I'm really starting to work this swim now, though. Getting into a good rhythm. There's a few fish showing on top. Might be worth picking the 11 by 6 stick float up and having a look up in the water, but while we're still catching on the deck, I don't see there's much point. Unless those better fish have come up. But just get the feeling there's an awful lot of small stuff in the upper layers. I was getting, you know, I was fishing the stick first thing this morning. I was just getting marked baits and no real bites. I'm just going to hold off a minute. I feel like I've got a really nice line on this run through right now. Could result in a decent fish. Oh, missed it. We'll just hold back. See if we can tempt the bite there. Just inching it through with the rod tip. Holding the line tight. Just moving the rod tip downstream. Done that a couple of times, good effect. Nothing that time, so I'll let it go. Oh, there, the bite came straight away as soon as I released it. That maggot. There's none existence, just a skin left on the hook. Fish right at the end of the run, tiny one. Had to hold and run through a couple of times. Well, we tempted him. Let's keep mending that line, trying to keep right, there we go, right behind it. Just held it back. Rise that bait up underneath that olivet. And it tempts that fish. That's another nice quality roach. I'd say they're not enormous, but there's plenty of them. Brought four pints of maggots today. Probably a couple of pints of hemp. Just a few tears, but uh, probably gone through just over a pint of maggots right now. Maybe the same of hemp. For, uh, 
good three hours into the match now. We've got two hours left. But we could really start putting the bait in if these keep coming. That's gone. Dogging around a bit. I don't know whether this is a small perch or this uh, it's a roach. trotting inside again at the minute while I was feeding out so we'll just let that run down see if anything's sitting down there obviously we fed the line a little bit closer in this morning now the wind's dropped I'm able to feed further out and fish that bit further out quite easily that's a fish down there though it's at the bottom of the run. So it's well worth continuing the trot if you miss the bite, assuming your bait isn't knackered. There's another one. Mm, awkward downstreamer on at the moment. Blowing the wind, blowing the line in and down making presentation difficult but it didn't seem to matter too much we've got another fish on small fish starting to put fairly good helpings of maggots in now I'm just going to correct that line that that's running on and get behind it there we go we're emptying it now oh, that's a nice roach yeah a bit of quality we get a few more of these we'll be uh, laughing Right, I'm going to try a tear, just going to nick that up, try that little tear there and uh, see if anything's willing to have a go on them and put that hemp in. You just never know, sometimes you get some corkers on the tears. through. Come on. Wind's just got a bit awkward again. There's fish rolling in the swim now. That's gone. Mm, nothing there. I'll just continue that trot. It's not on a bad line. A little bit difficult to see with the light. It's okay now. Just a couple of shadows from the trees that make Spotting it difficult at times. Hope that bait's still on. Nothing there. Probably struck it off. We'll uh, try it again. Sunk the hook through it a bit deeper this time. It's not coming off easily. Okay, that's exactly where I'd expect to catch a fish now, sitting behind it. That's gone, but nothing there. So either they're not taking them tears properly. That's a bite, surely that's a bite. They look like bites. Try 
Try again. That is definitely a bite. <laughs> that dip big snow. <laughs> right. So they are taking the tears. We just need to try and. Uh, try and connect with one. See if they're any better quality. I'll give it one more go on the tear. We don't get a fish this time. Back on the maggot. Don't want to waste too much time not catching fish. Be nice if we could get better stamp. That is a bite. Ah, what? That looked like a solid bite that, but we just seem to seem to end up stuck in something. Right, the tear's still on. Yeah, I'm getting bites on the tears, but they're, they're a bit rapid. So, I'll go back on the maggot. I ain't got that much longer left in this match. There's a fish, bottom of the run, on the maggot. So we're blowing up for rain again. Yeah, another fish on. Chap above me has gone back on the feeder. Did hear him having a go on a float down the inside of here earlier. Um, but he can't be doing much on it if he's back on the tip. Unless he's just looking for a beast. I think glenn has been fishing the feeder down below me. Uh, sorry, they float down below me on the long rod most of the day. That was another bite, rapid there. Oh. Right, just waiting for the scales coming down. Probably had about four pound. It's uh, started raining an awful lot towards the end. The wind got up downstreamer. Made presentation really difficult when I could get a fish, they were okay. Caught pretty consistently most of the day. Um, just haven't really had many of the better quality fish. Not sure how you sort them out really. Maybe Castle would have done a better job. Rob reckons he's had five pounds, so he's probably had ten. Don't know what Glynn's had. So I'm get a few on the float, but he's fished the feeder as well. Yeah, it's moved around all day though. It's been in my face, downstream. Ah, it was horrendous down there this morning, you can't, wasn't it? Can't forget it. That's the trouble. Really? You can't, you can't fish. You don't much. No. Well, I've got, you know, just a few bits and pieces. Would I expect you to yeah. get people right, Joe? That's all I've had to be fair. <laughs> It's real bad. Royal. Yeah. I knew it'd be closer. I knew it'd be closer, closer to ten when he says he's had, says he's had five. <laughs> had he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's me a lot, unfortunately. Five pound six. Five six. All right, cheers, Paul. Cheers, lads.